One person is injured and a half dozen evacuated after a fire rips through five row homes in southwest Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Patterson joins us. Now he's at that scene with the details for us. Steve? Well, Erica, it is often a broad cliche, but on a scene like this, it bears saying this Labor Day morning could have been a lot worse. We are talking about five row homes with nearly two dozen people and no serious injuries. Want to take you closer to the scene, get your eyes on. Take a look at this from this morning video from about 930. Officials tell us that's when it broke out. This is the 4900 block of Saybrook. And I'm told the fire started at the very end unit, unit 20, then started spreading with heavy flames and then a thick, dark smoke that really consumed the block. You mentioned an injury. We have confirmed a firefighter was injured on scene, but I'm told it was more a troubling case of smoke inhalation than anything, and I'm told he's okay and recovering. Meanwhile, crews put down the fire in about an hour's time, fire marshals on scene and investigating. So we spoke to one of the occupants, one of the residents who made it out outside before that smoke consumed the block. And when I came out, the block was just filled with uh, thick, dark smoke, and I was able to get out of the block and so just watch it from the corner. And now we're back to just see what, what can be done. Um, the houses are done and we're just waiting for some help, I guess. And that help has arrived as we give you one last look at the scene. Uh, the Red Cross Philadelphia is on scene. They tell us they are assisting at least 22 people, but that number could be rising as they continue to help. Meanwhile, as we mentioned, fire officials, fire marshal on scene investigating just how this happened this morning. Reporting from Southwest Philadelphia, I'm Steve Patterson, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Steve, thank you.